Um, we're here at Haitian Moss where the large heath butterfly hasn't been found for about 100 years and we're reintroducing it back to Haitian Moss. So we've just reintroduced four butterflies today, I think we've probably reintroduced about 20 in total so far. So we've got plenty more pupa that are still yet to uh, hatch. And so it's very successful so far, we're hoping to reintroduce about 100 butterflies back to the site. Um, about two years ago now, um, a group of Chester Zoo staff came out and collected some hare's tail cotton grass and brought it back to Chester Zoo in order to propagate and set up some breeding cages. That was done and then a year ago we came out and collected some gravid females to put into these breeding cages. Got some eggs from them, all very successful. The caterpillars had started to hatch after about two weeks. Um, and we just monitored them, kept them shaded if it was too sunny, made sure that they had enough um, food plant available, which was plenty, so no, no problems there. When it rained or snowed, we kept them protected from that as well. When it started to get a bit colder, they started to burrow down into the tussocks, so we didn't see them. They overwintered through the winter months. Started to reappear about mid-April, um, to end April time. We started to see the caterpillars again and started to successfully start to eat the plant again, started to grow. We monitored them and found the first pupa around the 17th of May. Yeah, and now the 7th of June, the first butterfly started to emerge here at Haitian Moss.